marquee matchups in this tournament which have generally produced wonderful crowds and inspiring new generations of supporters to embrace the global game So a check on the starting lineups then. The great Buffon has departed and it opens the door for Mattia Perin to start in goal for Juventus. Ahead of Wojciech Chesney, that is a talking point. Other new faces, Emre Chan and João Concello, along with up front this evening, Andrea Favalli. Chesney on the bench, along with the likes of Benatia, Kadira, Vazali. And with uh, several of their World Cup disappointed being rested and licking their wounds, it is a mighty youthful look to Bayern Munich's side here tonight. Sven Ulreich is in goal, Sandra Wagner is the main man up front and we believe it will be five across the middle with the wide positions filled by Ribéry and Serge Gnabry who now attempts to restart his career at Bayern Munich after a very successful spell on loan at Hoffenheim. In the end, for the departure of Carlo Ancelotti, which was the headline-grabbing story in the first half of the season in Germany. Allegri very keen to keep him, and certainly he is a part of the long-term plan. Well, very nearly the opener. A lot of room for Favalli. He maybe had a slash at that in the end, and uh, Ulreich might have been asked to do a bit more with that, Pratt. Yeah, he did. He in Vivali, like you say. Got it on target. Good hand from the goalkeeper. It's a good... And Veal, who have got no first-team experience for Bayern Munich before today. Shabani did feature a couple of times last season, but they're up against some of the great names. Here's Wagner. Picked out Navri. Wasn't a good touch by Navri. Very able to drop on it. Yeah, Juventus just caught playing out from the back. Poor play that time. Like you say... Not able to capitalise on that mistake. Yeah, can't get out of his feet quick enough. Can I? maybe hit it. Bayern Munich. Yeah, we are talking about a lot of young lads, but it could do have a lot of experience sprinkling around the team. Wagner, nominally the backup to Lewandowski, of course. He's not involved at the moment. Fell for Ribéry. He found some room. Having got down sharply. Martinez. He's getting forward a lot from right back. Something he likes to do. We understand. Every found a bit of room. Wagner was. Looking for the early ball into him. And it's straight at Perrin from the edge of the box. Zila had the hit. Yeah, shaky start for the event is at the back, which they don't normally have. Like you say, false point is straight to Zilla. Just really connected. Two straight down the middle up there. And he's supposed to the great expectation in, in the goalkeeping job for Bayern Munich is that it will be Manny Neuer. Benedeschi. Valley helped it on its way inadvertently. João Cancelo now looking to make a fast start as a Juve player. Good work by Ulreich. Here is Johansson again. He wears a ponytail like his new manager used to do as a player. Yeah, you can see already with him, he's, he's, he's a fullback that wants to get forward. Like I said earlier on, he's bombing down the line. Nabry coming in off the line, nearly playing as a second striker in there uh, beside over it, two-fisted by Ulreich, here he is, clever footballer, here's Wagner, Nabry, looking to hit one, it's the first time they've been able to get it into, his, into Wagner's feet, lays it back off for Nabry, gets it on target, Comfortable save for Terran in the end. Here you see it into Wagner's feet, lays it off. It's a good throw from everybody. Paid a lot of money for him, over 40 million. Valley helped it on nicely. Jack Cancelo to the outside to Alexandro. Side netting. And maybe a little touch from Ulreich again. Yeah, I think Ulreich's got his hand to that. He's got to go across the keeper here. You see a ball out to him. Good ball out wide to him, gets it out of his feet. 
he's got to go across the goalkeeper and he's trying to beat him at the near post and that's a comfortable save for Ulrich in the end Ribri have joined up really well Wagner been a bit quiet so far Sandra Wagner but those around him are playing their part and that is quite lively and bouncing awkwardly in front of him he's almost sitting there like a, a a new, like on his first day at school alongside Marchisio and Pjanic just show me the ropes I'll sit here and be a good boy and he probably he's probably got the reins on because he's used to going and pressing the ball isn't he under Jürgen Klopp and he's probably being told isn't he alright got caught out surely he's going to be punished and Juventus go in front through Andrea Fabali and after a quiet start it's a memorable goal for him as he settles in as a Juve player Allegri's men presented with the lead It's poor play from Munich, ball back to the goalkeeper, not a great ball back and doesn't cover himself in glory, but he does grey here, he could have shot in goal, doesn't get his head up and just picks out Vivali in the middle of the box, here we see it, poor back pass, puts the keeper under serious pressure, he doesn't do well at all, I think it's Marchisio goes across the goal and Vivali finishes it really well. Look at the energy shown by Marchisio here, seizing on that to make something happen, putting the press on himself. He's been in that position for most of the game. Once Juventus got the ball, he's the one that's making strides to get forward to Vivali and join him. And Mandzukic, of course, giant size half. But here goes Vivali, the youngster in his place today. And he's made it two. And Ulreich really looked nonplussed by that as well. He got nowhere near it. Bayern were opened up way too easily. Martinez off, Alaba on in that role just a moment ago. And the door was wide open. This is a great start to the Juventus career of Andrea Favalli, but a terrible beginning to 2018-19 for Sven Ulreich. You were talking about clearing the lines, there it is, just one long ball, Favalli, you see it again, was he offside, gets it down plenty of time, sometimes that's a danger when you've got too much time, doesn't think about it, and nowhere is going here, you see, he gets it out of his feet, where his left foot stands the keeper up what about the goalkeeper though yeah, does he not have to go out and narrow the angle he's got to narrow the angle on the near post no doubt about that and try to send it across him, but... shaped up for Arjen Robin Robin like Ribery continuing his illustrious career he will turn 35 in January. Again, the touch isn't very good from Riet, but he got away with that one. Steered leftward by Zaiza. And that is not going to trouble Kevin. Bit ambitious, but Coman has at least provided a... Steered just the wrong side of the upright. Suddenly... Coman. Bit of a wrestling match on the penalty spot then, Riet. And the ball was actually causing problems here, Pat. Yeah, he did well down the left-hand side. Showed his pace there. Didn't smash it across. Just rolled the back for Young. Just scuffed across. It didn't get it on target. Yeah, it's back playing again. And I don't just mean at club level. If memory serves, Pat, he went from being one of the players of the tournament. Right, to, right at Perrin. Perrin had to get down. And Bayern missed a great chance to get themselves on the scoreboard. It's fired over the top when it was easier to put it in the net by Young Wayo Young. Yeah, they pressed the ball really well. Coman in for Riot. But good save from the goalkeeper. Nice and brave. And like you say, Young just stroked at home. He's trying to go across the jersey and gives away a free kick. Renato Sanchez hits it. To go with the old masters. Alexandro. That might be kept in play, I fancy. It was kept in play. On the half turn, it might have presented the opportunity for Juve. Yeah, it's a good ball into the box, right to the back post, pulled back by Juventus. And I think it's Baltrame, is it just gets a shot and goal. Good defending. Rafinha and Robin working together. Cross is deflected into a dangerous area, but very calmly done. In a tight position by Caldara. Yeah, it's good defending that near post, like you say. Caldara gets himself into a good position here. You know it's coming into that near post. Gets across it. Clears. A truly incredible career. He didn't start winning things till he was about 28, 29. 
something in that 